so you've heard of the 5e lesson plan. Now what? Well, let's get started with the beginning of the lesson. Ready to start with today's big idea? Wait one second. They're not quite ready. That's not 5e. The first of the 5e's stands for engage. Engage students using a video or demonstration that will create interest and generate curiosity. Have these students asking themselves, why did this happen? What do I already know about this? And what can I find out? The second of our five E's stands for explore. This allows students to think freely to explore the topic presented through the engage. But that does not mean it's an all out free for all. That's not five E. The five E explore allows students to think freely, but within the limits of the activity. They can test their predictions and hypotheses while trying alternatives and discussing them with others in the class. As the teacher, you can encourage students to work together without direct instruction, but ask probing questions and observe to make sure that students stay on task and interact. Now it's time to explain what the students found in their explore portion of today's lesson. But are you the one explaining what happened to them? No. That's not 5e. While it's important that you dispel misconceptions while adding definitions and labels to the students' words, this is their turn to show you what they know. Allow students to present what they went through in their explore activity while you can steer them in the direction that you want your class to go. So your students have used inquiry to learn the material, and you've given them the tools they need to succeed on their tests. So it's time for that big test, right? Wrong. That's not 5e. It's time for students to use the previous information they learned so far in today's lesson to extend their knowledge further. They can ask questions, propose solutions, make decisions, and design experiments, all based on today's information. And now on to our final E. Evaluate. An evaluation doesn't have to be that giant test. An evaluation can be an open-ended question, allowing students to apply their new concepts and skills and prove their understanding from today's lesson. And now you know. The 5e lesson plan design is not just a free-for-all for students to explore whatever part of science they want to. It's a well-designed instructional plan that will allow them to use inquiry to reach the same goals that you have set forth in your lecture.